From triggering the regrowth of a lost limb of a frog in just a day to finding a mysterious X particle that existed moments after the Big Bang. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifix. This week, scientists have discovered a new insect species that belongs to a group so rare that its closest relative was last seen in the year 1969. Named Phlogis kibalensis, the new species of leafhopper was found in the rainforest of the Kibale National Park in western Uganda by a team from the Anglia Ruskin University in the UK. The new species, which has a distinctive metallic sheen, a pitted body and, in common with most leafhoppers, uniquely shaped male reproductive organs, in this case partially leaf-shaped, belongs to a group or genus called Phlogis. Before this, the last recorded sighting of a leafhopper from this rare genus was in Central African Republic in the year 1969. Leafhoppers are closely related to Sisadas but are much smaller with this male of the newly discovered Phlogis kibalensis species just 6.5 mm long. Leafhoppers feed mainly on plant sap sucked directly from the phloem and are preyed on by invertebrates including spiders, beetles and parasitic wasps as well as birds. Also this week, in a first, scientists from Harvard University and Tufts University have managed to trigger regrowth of a lost leg of a frog in just 24 hours. They achieved the feat using a silicon wearable bioreactor dome that seals a five-drug cocktail over the stump. The brief treatment sets in motion an 18-month period of regrowth that restores a functional leg. Frogs, like many other creatures such as salamanders, starfish, crabs, lizards, have the capability of full regeneration of at least some limbs. On the other hand, while humans are capable of closing wounds with new tissue growth and our livers have the capability to regenerate to full size after a 50% loss, loss of a large and structurally complex limb cannot be restored by any natural process. The research possibly brings us a step closer to the goal of regenerative medicine. Meanwhile, researchers have used an artificial intelligence system to find meteorites hidden in Antarctic ice. Prior research has shown that a large number of meteorites strike the Earth on a regular basis. Two-thirds of all recoveries occur in Antarctica. This is because the continent is covered in ice and preserves them. Moreover, the dark coloration of the meteorites tends to stand out against the ice. Prior research has shown that most such meteorites land on snow-covered ice where they become embedded and are covered by more and more snow. Over time, as the ice accumulates, it moves slowly towards the ocean where the meteorites drop to the bottom of the sea. But other meteorites wind up in ice that does not migrate as much and has a different texture. Known as blue ice, it can harbour relatively easily retrievable meteorites. Most meteorites found in Antarctica have been found in blue ice. Finding such meteorites involves educated guessing and random wandering. Using artificial intelligence system, researchers can now narrow down their search. The team trained the AI system with satellite data covering the entire continent along with data that showed where blue ice fields containing meteorites have been found. They helped the system by adding information about sites that yielded meteoroids such as temperature and ice conditions. They then used the system to search the icy continent for zones that met the criteria for likely meteorite sites and found it to be approximately 83% accurate. It also found more than 600 potential zones that it marked for a closer look by the team members on the ground. They know that many of the discovered zones are relatively close to existing research stations on the Antarctica. Also this week, researchers have found evidence of the elusive short-lived X particles which existed in the first millionth of a second after the Big Bang. After the Big Bang, an event where the universe sprang into existence from a single point, the cosmos was a trillion degree plasma of elementary particles. These particles, including quarks and gluons, briefly came together in countless combinations before cooling and settling into more stable configurations to make the neutrons and protons of ordinary matter. 
In the chaos before cooling, a fraction of these particles collided to form short-lived X particles named for their mysterious unknown structures. X particles are extremely rare, although physicists have theorized that they may be created in particle accelerators where high energy collisions can generate similar flashes of quark gluon plasma. Now, physicists have found evidence of X particles in the quark gluon plasma produced in the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, based near Geneva in Switzerland. The team used machine learning techniques to sift through more than 13 billion heavy ion collisions, each of which produced tens of thousands of charged particles. Amid this ultra-dense high-energy particle soup, the researchers were able to detect about 100 X particles of a type known as X3872, named for the particle's estimated mass. The results mark the first time that researchers have detected X particles in quark gluon plasma, an environment that they hope will illuminate the particles as yet unknown structure. Meanwhile, engineering researchers from North Carolina State University in the US have demonstrated a new type of flexible robotic grippers that are able to lift delicate egg yolks without breaking them. The work draws inspiration from the Japanese art of kirigami, which involves both cutting and folding two-dimensional sheets of material to form 3D shapes. The researchers demonstrated the utility of their technique by creating grippers capable of grabbing and lifting objects ranging from egg yolks to a single human hair. Conventional grippers grasp an object firmly, that is they grab things by putting pressure on them, which can pose problems when attempting to grip fragile objects such as egg yolks. But the team's grippers essentially surround an object and then lift it, similar to the way that we cup our hands around an object. However, the researchers know that there are a host of other potential applications such as using the technique to design biomedical technologies that conform to the shape of a joint, like the human knee. This will pave the way for smart bandages or monitoring devices capable of bending and moving with your knee or elbow. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.